Tomorrow, Kevin, Tucker, or Terry be the proud owner of one of these. But my advice to whoever it is, this ball part, it's really fragile and it breaks off and sometimes rolls under your bed. So uh, invest in some super glue. Analyzing final Jeopardy wagers on day one of a two-day final is kind of pointless. They're really just daily doubles. Kevin, for example, didn't feel that confident in the category. Terry felt fairly confident in the category, and their wagers reflected that. What's more important for the second day is to see what the actual lead each player has is over each other player. Because you're going to add today's score to tomorrow's score to determine a champion. Now, as part of my tutorial, I point out the way to determine this. You take the difference between the two scores, and you cut it in half. Tucker and Terry are separated by 5,000. Terry has a $5,000 lead after the first game. This means that Tucker, if he wants to have the lead over Terry tomorrow, heading into the ultimate final Jeopardy, he'll need to be winning by at least 2,501. Between Kevin and Tucker, the difference between the two of them and Kevin, I hate you as well for doing this to me, is 60-35, so cut that in half. Kevin will need to be ahead of Tucker by 3018 in order to have possession of his own destiny in final in the second game. And between Terry and Kevin, we'll just add the 2500 to that, well, 5000 to that. So Kevin will need to be beating Terry by at least 5518 tomorrow to have the lead. The other aspect we want to look at is how to know whether you're actually in contention going into Final Jeopardy on the second day. And the way you do that is, we'll take Tucker and Terry as an example here. You take the difference between your two scores after the first game, 5,000. And then we'll add that to Terry's second game score going into Final Jeopardy and then compare that to Tucker's second game score. So, for example, let's say Terry has 10,000 heading into Final Jeopardy. Tucker has 7,000. We add that 5,000 to Terry's score. She has 15,000 now. She is locking out Tucker because Tucker at most can get to 14,000. These suggestions might sound absurd, yes, but one of them worked for me. I led one of my opponents by 5,400 after the first game of my college championship final. Therefore, I had a lead of 2,700. He was winning by 400 with one clue left in Double Jeopardy on the second game. and It was a $1,600 clue, and I thought I knew the answer, but I wasn't entirely sure. Normally, I would have buzzed in, but I just put the buzzer down. He got it right, still trailed me by that $700, and I had control of my own destiny heading into final. Maybe it'll work for you, too. Maybe it'll work for one of these players. As Trebek said, it's going to be a good one. And we'll see you tomorrow to break it down on the final wager.